Is it controversial that people throw their food scraps away in the garbage? Because, I mean, doesn't that, like you were saying, there's, there's different kinds of compost. There's the good stuff that has the air, and then there's the stuff that's literally sitting in plastic garbage bags and landfills, which is kind of toxic in a way because yeah. it's not. Yeah, so um, anaerobic, the anaerobic process, that's the smelly process, um, is uh, very stinky and produces lots of not great gases. So just imagine all these landfills with tons of stuff in it, compact, not um, being able to do the aerobic process. It's really stinky. And then you have um, you know rainwater or whatever come through it, and then um, leaches out all this toxic stuff, right? So you know you have your banana and your apple next to some refrigerators, or you know depending. <laughs> And then all this stuff binds together and leaches out and gets into our water system and our soil, so it's very highly toxic. Yeah. Um, so, and I think the percentage is about 25%, so a quarter of the stuff that we're putting in the landf landfill, we can compost it, and we can use as a resource. This is a huge resource. People pay a lot of money to get miracle Grow, all that stuff, and they can have it free. They can have it totally free. You're creating your own little um, byproduct right here and it's completing the life cycle. Right. So I mean, that's what nature does, has been doing yeah. forever and ever and ever. You put your food back in the dirt because mm -hmm. that's where it's supposed to go. Exactly. And composting is, is very, uh, people were doing it forever until what? I don't know. Industrial revolution. Industrial revolution when yeah. everybody was having to take their garbage out because there was so much high population of people, they had to take the garbage somewhere, right? You talk to people that, you know, are in their 80s. They're like, oh yeah, that's what we did. Of course we composted. Yeah. This is nothing new. But um, just over the past few generations, we've we've lost the knowledge and it's coming back out of necessity. Our trash was just plastic bags and food scraps. So I'm like, we gotta do something with the food scraps. So, I mean, what do you do with plastic bags? I mean, that's... This is a great question. The, a lot of people have different answers. Obviously reuse. Try not to get um, plastic bags when you go to the store. Kind of refuse, bring a bag with you. Yeah. Um, some people have gotten really creative and made bags out of them because plastic's pretty strong, especially if you bind it with other plastic. So imagine making it plastic yarn and knitting a bag out of it or crocheting a bag. That's a cool idea. Yeah. Um, and there are more and more, uh, and a lot of countries do this, and more places in the United States are going to be charging. They're going to have taxes for paper bags. And when you go to the store, you're going to have to pay for a paper bag, or sorry, plastic bag. So that's going to be huge. That's, that's going to really start to get people to think, uh, why do I have to pay for this? What's happening here? What's the problem? Plastic bags are everywhere. I'm not think, attractive. I, I <laughs> hate plastic bags so much. Like it, I mean, they're convenient when you're down the street and you're like, I don't have a bag with me, but I, I carry, number one, I carry a purse that's really big mm -hmm. so that if I am in a store and I bought a bunch of things, I'm like, just put it in my purse or I will bring a canvas bag, you know, I'll walk mm -hmm. out and I'll be like, oh, I forgot a canvas bag. I know I'm going to the grocery store. Mm -hmm. Go back in and grab my canvas bag. And it actually feels good when you come out mm -hmm. and you're like, okay, I exactly. didn't have to use those crappy plastic bags that I see on the street, you know, blowing around mm -hmm. in trees and stuff. Yeah, and it's, it's also a great thing to remember that we were all brought up in this culture of convenience and it's a really hard thing to change. So just, you know, every day you just do something a little different. You know, oh, you know, I didn't remember it this time, whatever, you'll remember it another time. So it's just literally we're trying to change our culture of convenience a little bit and take more ownership for what we put in our hands and what we, you know, take into our house and what we have to take out. So, right. yeah, we can do it. We can do it. Okay.